Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We have got a seasonal winter lager for you guys from the Uninta Brewing Company out of Utah. This is called Yard Sale. And I have to say, the whole reason I bought this was because of the label. I've had other beers from these guys. I think Hop Notch is one of my top ten beers without question. It's phenomenal. If you've never had Hop Notch, watch our review on YouTube and uh, buy it if you like hoppy beers. Um, this is a winter lager. It's available December through March. It's, um, it's only good for a few months. So this is the 2012. I bought this. I think I bought this right at the beginning of December. And it even says on here, best before uh, March 13th, 2013, which it is almost. So that's why I made sure I did this review. I had, um, I think, about three of these total. But if you don't know what a yard sale is, when someone is downhill skiing and they totally wipe out and you see their ski go this way and their pole go that way and their gloves go that way they call that the yard sale so awesome name the other thing if you haven't watched some other videos about these guys all their caps are typically very noticeable um they talk about how it's earth wind and beer so it's wind powered uh brewery they do a lot of things to protect the environment I'm, i think that's extremely important and very smart these days uh, when you're brewing beer to a select group of beer drinkers, much like myself and you, if you're watching this. So what this is, is they call it a full full body amber lager. Complex toasted malt body and a noble hop character. It's got a background of honey and caramel, vanilla accents, and a what they call a malty and light hoppy note. Finish is dry. Um, what's interesting is it says, Yard Sale pairs well with earthy mushroom bisque. I mean, how specific is that? Grilled lamb or pork and even mussels or clams. So that, again, if you watch my other videos, I'm big into tell me when and where to drink it. Perfect. Seafood, mussels, clams, something like a mushroom bisque or something that's got kind of that, what I, what I think of as kind of a salty, kind of creamy texture. Um, and let's see, IBUs are 22. So like I said, I had one of these before. When you first smell it, you can definitely smell the honey. Not a lot of hoppy smell. Of course, a little bit of malt, as you can tell by the color, is extremely well filtered. Um, kind of a nice, thin, uh, slightly colored head. Yeah, so this is what I remember. It's definitely, it's got a very strong honey flavor to it. The caramel kind of comes in the background. Um, what's interesting about it, though, is it's kind of thin in its texture. A lot of winter um, lagers, at least the ones that I typically drink, are a little bit thicker and denser in their texture. And I remember kind of having a flashback of a, a good friend of mine that... Um, we trade beers back and forth to try different beers. So, you know, I'll buy two of these, he'll buy two of something else, we'll trade them. Um, he didn't like this because of that. Um, the fact that it is rather thin. I mean, it's it's not it's not your thick, tight winter lager that you're used to. But that's not really what I don't think they're marketing. If I was skiing, and I was at mid-mountain, and I was about to, you know, finish skiing back down, this would be a great beer to have out in the snow sunshine on a cold day because it's, it's refreshing. It's not, you know, extremely, extremely thick, um, and it's sweet. So, yeah, but, um, winter lager, um, definitely honey. Uh, you can kind of taste the caramel in the background. Not a lot of IBUs. Twenty two doesn't taste very hoppy. Fairly malty background. Um, not a lot of carbonation. Very clean and filtered, and is extremely easy to drink. Um, I think this would be perfect, like I said, sitting on the slopes. Um, not something I don't think I would have with dinner. So they say, you know, lamb, pork, mushroom bisque. This isn't a beer that I would do that with, personally. Um, I, I like something a little bit more robust, a little bit uh, thicker in texture, uh, maybe a, a little bit more head on it so it kind of sticks around my palate before I eat the food. Um, but it's a good beer. Um, I would probably give this about a three on a rating scale between one and five. Um, I'll definitely buy it again next year solely for the label, period. Now, I buy beers for the label and 
for maybe what of course what's inside but I mean that this is a great brewery everything they do is is unique and I think and they're actually um, 2013 and you see a lot more of their beers coming out in cans so they're making the switch to cans that I've talked about on a lot of my videos in the past as well huge fan of cans I think cans is where everything should be and if possible really some beers can't but this is one of those beers that would travel awesome in a can so check it out let me know if you've tried the old yard sale winter lager um, on our YouTube channel leave comments we're on Facebook and we're on Twitter if you want to follow us and most importantly